All right, so I just finished binge watching episodes one through seven on Demon Slayer. Kim Su no Yaba, Yiba, I don't know. But I'm a little late to the party because I, I seen the listen, man. I just, I seen the trailer, and that thing was so boring. It was like, like I don't know. The trailer didn't do it justice. Maybe there was another trailer that did a little bit better, but. The trailer sucked. It it was it wasn't good. It was not good. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna watch this thing. It's like another garbage anime or weird anime coming out. It's gonna be dirt boring. Then, you know, seven weeks down the road, <laughs> about a month or so later, I'm just now like yesterday. I watched one through one through two episode one through two yesterday, and I just watched three to seven today. And the first episode, I was like, man, this is going to be a good anime. Because, I don't know, it was just the, the action, what the, 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 it was just sadness in the beginning. Yeah, I didn't know what to think. And it was like, oh my goodness. It made me want to cry. It's like, I can't do this. I can't do this. But it, it was very, very good. So I, after that, I'm like, I got to keep watching this. But it was like late at night when I started. So I'm like, snap, I got to watch this tomorrow. I really wanted to binge watch it in one night, but I had work the next day, so I couldn't do it. So this dude comes home to find out his his family's been murdered by a, 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 a demon. And then for some odd reason, his sister's been turned into one. For no reason. No reason. So now he ends up getting saved from... Sorry, he's down there. He gets, he, was, he gets saved from a dude that was going to kill him. So I'm like, what? What's going on? You know, it's a whole thing. But I'm I'm still enjoying it. It's really, really good. And then he pleads and this and that. And finally, the guy doesn't kill him. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I don't know. Well at, well, at the time, actually, I do know. Um, the, the demon decided to protect him instead of go and try to eat him. So it showed that, okay, that this demon is a little bit different. So, you know, I'll, then he puts the thing around her mouth. And then it's like, okay, she's probably not going to eat him. That whatever, you know, it's your thing. And it says, go meet this one guy, whatever, you know, since, you know, you want to whatever. Figure out how to turn your sister back or, or be stronger. Be a man. Oh, sorry. It's late. It's like nine right now. About to hit ten. Uh, So the the dude travels down this up, down, wherever he went, this mountain to find this guy. The random guy that he just told. And... Now he's she's training and training and training, and then eventually the guy's like, "Bruh, I ain't for the training anymore. Now you have to 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 cut this boulder." I'm just like, "Cut a boulder? Like what?" So I'm gonna cut a rock. All right, you know whatever. I mean, the guy in One Piece does it. Uh, what's it called? Um, not Sanji. Zoro, Zoro, my nigga Zoro, bro. So that dude's my dude Sanji. My dude Zoro does it, and I'm like, you know whatever. A swordsman cutting rock. They can cut bamboo. I'm pretty sure this dude could put a big dent in the rock or something. I don't know how he's going to do it. I was thinking he's going to hit it with his forehead and it cracks. It would have been hilarious. But, nah, nah. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to you know, cut this thing. But for some reason, these, and then these two people come in with masks and starts fighting him. And one person starts fighting him. And the other one trains him. I'm like, I don't know. These guys seem kind of fishy because they just popped up out of nowhere. I'm like, maybe they were sent. That's, you know, that's the vibe everyone was getting, I'm sure. They were sent by that one master dude teaching him how to fight with the sword. And then after that, he's like, he's trained a whole six months. It's like, okay, so about two years have passed, and then he became strong. I'm like, man, that's crazy. So, like, about two years passed, and his sister is still, like, a, um, a demon. So, I'm like, man, she's not dead yet. And it get, he gets, ter you know, he gets stronger. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so... He gets stronger, and now he's 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 fighting this. He's fighting the dude. Says I can do this. Slices his mask, and then come to find out he sliced the rock. I'm like, wait a minute. And at that point, it seemed real weird to me. Like, why did he slice the mask and not and 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 then slice the rock? I'm like, this is just weird. Then later on, you know, come to find out these things were spirit babies at this point but they're his favorite people like they're were, they're were not even uh, real i'm just like wait a minute you got your butt handed to you by spirits 
spirits. He got his butt handed to the beginning against that one dude with against a spirit with a stick. Bro, that's wild. Bro. That is wild. So I said, alright. Alright, whatever. You know, it's cool. But then he ends up going to the final selection thing. Goes for like, I think, seven days of trying to survive against against demons. I'm just like, man, like, what are they going to eat? Where are they going to get this water? My main thing was, what are they providing food? Is this like a picnic thing during the night? You fight for your life. In the morning, you come to the campgrounds and you eat. Like, I didn't get it. I was like, what? This is weird. So I'm like, they're going to, you know, sleep during the day, fight at night to survive. And then I guess on the last night, this weird mutated million arms uh, demon comes out. And it was like, was good. I'm fun, you finna get these hands type of stuff, and I was like, "What? What? Like, where is this coming from?" I'm, I, I'm, I'm perplexed by this. I'm like, "Wait a minute." Then it goes in a little bit in the backstory, like how this guy got so strong. Because I was thinking in the beginning, yeah, you eat more demons and you get stronger. So I'm like, "Okay," but then, then he's like, "Oh, you know, he can't cut me this and that." And this dude's like a pretty crazy like enemy. So I'm like, "All right, it's gonna be a pretty good battle." Then he ends up cutting the dude, you know, because he cut the boulder. He cut the hardest thing. He ended up cutting the boulder. And he that guy killed many, many people. I was like, wow, that's crazy. That dude ate a lot of people. And, like, at first I thought he said 50-something people. And then apparently he's been living for over 27 or 47 years, something like that. I'm like, wait a minute. That's, that's a long time for these 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 so-called demon hunters to let a demon roam free like how how do they know like uh, they, they wouldn't let this demon go and if he kept eating people for like say 50 more years or so this dude legit would be super like i mean beyond powerful and then he had his arms like all around his neck and stuff to protect himself which is very crafty and handy i was like that's pretty smart but and at the end, you know, he gets his neck sliced and, you know, he's crying at the end because he sees sadness. You know, he can smell it like he's a dog or something. I don't know. So then after that, he gets selected, gets a sword, a black sword, which is, you know, of course, a savage. But I'm expecting it to be red, too. But it wasn't red. They were all some of them were disappointed. That one clown mask looking dude. Then then he gets his assignment to go and hunt this this chick which was pretty not this chick the demon to save um f from disappearing i'm like okay and that's pretty savage you know he's about to save some people for the first time and he's already acting a little stupid i'm like dude just kill these people but his sister comes in and like kicks this dude head in a circle and it, and it's pretty crazy that's really really hilarious i'm, I'm speeding through this because this is like seven episodes and i'm like wow so She's strong. I said, okay, that's pretty cool. Then he goes under. He goes into the little mist thing. Like, I was like, that's crazy. Like, getting into their water and all that. That's 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 uh, risky there, buddy. But, you know, he's trained to breathe on their water, I guess. Or because the air is really, really thin. So he's trained on that. So he's not worried about that at all. Sorry. And so, you know, I was like, all right, all right. This, this is going to be pretty good. He ends up killing those two. And then he gets back up and was like, hey, bro, who's this one dude? Then he's like... I can't tell, you know, it was like weird, it was like a whole another world where he's like, it was like a Tokyo ghoul, and it's like they're in another world where he's getting choked out, and I was like, bruh, so he's like, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, and then, like, you know, he ended up slicing his neck, and I was like, wow, then later on, they move on to a different city, Tokyo, and now we're at the scene where he ends up getting some food, then he smells the scent of that one dude, and he's just running, 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 leaves his sister behind. I don't even think about it, just booking it, running, 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 running. And then finds him. And then finds out he's living as a human amongst the the people, like amongst humans. Like, uh, he's living amongst humans as a human, but he's a demon. So, like that. So, sorry. So, I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I said, but whatever, I'm going to go with it. Like, look at his eyes. I mean, I don't know, but... Then, then, uh, he's, like, gripping his stomach and, like, his mouth. I'm like, what is wrong with you? My guy, I don't care about the, if I was in that situation, I ain't worried about the little girl. She'd probably, I don't know, push the girl aside, slash, bring out your sword, or just, or just stab the dude at least, or cut his leg off or whatever. I don't know, do something. But, I mean, honestly, he probably wouldn't be able to. He'd get his butt handed to but then the guy ends up cutting another dude's neck, and then he ends up becoming a, a, a demon. I'm like, man, 
So now I'm like, so we're, it's confirmed this dude can turn people into demons. And then a demon eat bites this one lady right next to him. And it's like, oh, snap. And he's like, wait a minute. I'm like, bro, you're supposed to pull your sword out already, guy. You're supposed to be a savage. But then it cuts to the scene where that uh, that one dude that could, Matsuyatsu, Motsuyatsu, whatever his name is, that's what an M. And he's like looking at him all like, oh, yeah, this is a dude I got to worry about something now. Because he's a, he's a demon hunter. So he's like, snap. And I'm like, bruh. So in, this, in the seventh episode, we meet basically the main uh, as a pro uh, antagonist. And I'm like, I bet you not in in seven more episodes, we're probably gonna see him again. And then in 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 like seven more around like the ending, it's gonna be like he shows up, he's gonna go his final forms. Like, all right, it's time to finally fight, and it's it's gonna be crazy. But this dude has a lot of growing up to do. I really like this anime. Like I said, I watched it in like seven episodes within two days, and it's like ten o'clock at night right now, and I really really like it. So uh, I really want to see the rest of this. Hopefully. You know, the rest goes well, and the story keeps going good. The CG is amazing in this. Like, I'm not even, like, I like it, because it's like, you can't even tell it's CG. But but it's like, certain times you can, which is like, okay, but it's not bad. It's like, you know, they put it far, far away from the camera, so it's not in your face. And I don't know, man. A lot of times I thought it was CG. It's not CG. Then other times when it is CG, I'm like, no, that's anime. I'm like, man, this is good. So, giving props to that for really pulling that stuff off, and... I really like it, so they, they should keep that up with the CG. I'm not a CG fan, if you listen to my other videos. I'm really not a CG fan, but this right here was a really good like example of how to do CG correctly. Push all the CG in the background. Don't make it your foreground. If you got to make your foreground, make it brief. But that's my take on it. On uh, Demon Slayer, I hope uh, it gets better. And I'll keep doing, you know, each episode of reviews now since I've caught up to it. I'm going to do a... I'm going to watch... I believe it's Attack on Titan today and Dotoro. So I have to watch those two. And I haven't made a video on Dotoro yet. Uh, I don't know if it's a popular anime for some people. But if anyone is listening and would like to hear my view on Dotoro, then I can definitely get like a whole speed like run of uh, and, like a video of what I think about Dotoro. And then I'm going to watch Attack on Titan tonight. And then probably upload that video tomorrow and upload this video tomorrow because it's late at night. I'd rather go to sleep and I'll edit all this, bump all that. I'm going to bed. See you.